Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Introducing from Damasa Arta, Wallabam, Malaysia, weighing it at five apples, he is your fellow uptown low. Cornelius. <laughs> How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing? <laughs> Can you hear me right? Can you hear me all right? Can you hear me all right, Can you hear me all right? Hold on, I'll hold on, I'll hold on. Um, it can be the go. No! Thank you. Okay. So, to those who are not aware of who I am, my name is Kord Irzo, a professional wrestler turned butler of each other. I trust this. <laughs> uh, isn't it, folks? I haven't eaten an actual professional wrestler. Uh, I do things like, uh, like, like this. Not this. Um, this, this is not less of me doing and more of me getting inflicted upon. Very violently so, I might add. Yes, so yes, I do do, I do do actual uh, professional wrestling. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I've been wrestling in Malaysia for many years now, including in Singapore. Uh, a little bit in Thailand, a little bit in the Philippines. Uh, hope to do more. Hope to do more. Interesting times we are in. Interesting times. But we're not talking about wrestling today. We are going to be uh, doing a little bit of a Honkai Star Rail. Yes, folks. Yes, folks. It's been a while since I did a, a Star Rail stream. Uh, and I thought to myself, ah, okay, uh, this week is going to be. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take it a little more easy. Uh, 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 this week, uh, I'm going to prioritize a couple of other things first. Uh, but, you know, still stream. Just uh, just stuff that's a little bit light on the load. Such as uh, Star Rail. Uh, and my goodness, um, even though I haven't been streaming this game. Yeah, this is kind of like one of my games. Whenever I want to unwind, whenever I got a little bit of extra spare time, this is my game. Um, let me show you <laughs> just how far I've grinded into this damn game. Oh, before that, before that, uh, apologies, folks, I forgot to, let me just turn on the, uh, the sound. Yeah. Do let me know how's the volume, folks, do let me know how is the volume. Okay. So, to, just to prove to you guys just how far I've taken this, I have, I don't know, it feels like I have more than five... Five star characters. Shut up, Sampo. And yes, I still regularly use Sampo. Uh, there is Ho Ho. Uh, the little abundance character that can. And um, a, a little demonic tail person thing that, that is right here. Uh, arguably my main healer right now because she is just so good. Like uh, the fact that she's like, she, she's like a hybrid healer harmony character that can boost damage as well is really really versatile i have bronya how the heck did i get bronya no am i all of this was before the before uh, getting 300 poles uh before uh because if you get like 300 poles the the lap that by, by the 300th pole uh, you get uh, essentially a, a free the uh, fireworks going on even Guys, it's already like, like, like three days past Raya and we're still celebrating it. All right, all right, all right. As long as you're not shooting the fireworks at me. But yes, this is, I have Bronya. And yeah, uh, you be, people have been saying that she's like the most broken character in the game. I can sort of see that actually, because her, just her ability to get a character to skip to the right, to the next turn after Bronya is just incredibly powerful. And finally... At last, at last, I got a just, she's my most recent one as well. She's my most recent one. It's Himiko-sama. It's Himiko-sama. Yes. To those who have been watching me for a long, long time, you'll know that. Yes. Yes, Himiko-sama. Himiko-sama. Oh, so elegant. So elegant. Oh, what a beauty. Oh. Oh, and such a powerful character, too. 
And yes, I um, even though she's my most recent character, <laughs> yeah, I, I I put in the work on her. As you can see, it's a it's a proper level seventy character. Yeah, I I am I uh, might have gone a little bit ham in trying to build her up in D, and she's quite quite strong actually. No, no, in my personal opinion, my personal very casual gamer opinion. Yeah, yeah, don't come after me. Uh, you you weird, um, you weird uh. Honkai Stario YouTubers, you, uh, yeah, you, you guys are some, like, uh, if you if you, if you have ever seen those those analysis videos on on Honkai Stario uh, guides, oh. it feels like they are like more math videos than they are, you know, uh, game gaming videos. It it almost looks like you need you need like a, a mathematics degree just to really analyze a, a, everything in this game. You can see her mole. You can see her mole. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, I need to stop, I need to stop, I need to stop. Okay, and then we have Dr. Ratio. Uh, who has got a really unique outfit, actually, I must say. It reminds me a little bit of Sampo, but... Sluttier? Wait, who's Sluttier? You or Sampo? Dr. Ratio edges you out just by a little bit. This is, this is sort of like the kind of... Slut that'll swim to you. This is the kind of slut that will get into really weird affairs with you, but like be really into it and be really, almost enjoys the chase kind of a slut. So, uh, yeah, watch out for this one. And yes, five star character. Uh, I thought he wasn't much initially, but no, he's he's pretty, pretty strong. Pretty, pretty strong. If you can get those follow up attacks going, he's, he's incredible. I hate to say it, I hate to say it, I do use Yanching more than I, more than I think. Again, I'm not one for the best in boys, okay? I don't think much of this lad. Powerful? Sure, sure. Like, if I need some ice damage out, he's my go-to guy. Kinda don't want him to be. Kinda don't want him to be, but... I, I don't know. What's something's wrong with, with Herta? I cannot build Herta enough. I, I cannot seem to build Herta as, uh, with enough damage. In, in contrast, you know, both Herta and Himiko are erudition multi-target attacks. Herta's just... I cannot get out enough damage. I've never had Herta for... for e I have Herta too. With all five Eidolons. Look at this. Look at this. Herta has all five... All six Eidolons. And yet I still think she has... And even though I have built up... Yumiko Sama. She's my most recent character. And yes, I did build up quite a bit. Somehow Herta, for the long time, just... Cannot eke out enough damage. Respectable damage. Everyone else does. Everyone else. But Herta. It's, it's bizarre. So let's move on. Uh, and then we have Blade. Uh, yeah, as as much of a grouch he is. Like, he's one of those guys that's like... That I think to myself... I am so past wearing all dark colors these days. You know? And he is one of those guys just stuck in wearing dark colors. I will admit. His damage is very respectable. And he's very, very fun to play. And of course, my original five-star character, Lara. Um, I believe they've nerfed her. I believe they've nerfed her not too long ago. Because she was in... She was, back then, as in like maybe several months ago, she was by, by far and away the most broken character in the game. Because she would eke out... Because it feels like she could do that. Once you activate her ultimate, her follow-up attacks just kept on going and going and going and... It was just ridiculous amounts of damage. Unbelievable amounts of damage. Now, they have basically limited her to using two follow-up attacks once she activates her ult. So that's so she, her, her damage has been incredibly nerfed. With that being said, she still does tons of damage. Still does tons of damage. So I still regularly use her without question. Uh, I think... Oh, and of course, of course... Dr. Bai Luchan. I got Dr. Bai Luchan. She is my 300 free pull. I selected. I could have gone for Himiko Sama, but I wanted to go for Bai Luchan. And then shockingly, shockingly, I think about a few pulls, not like about one or two pulls after uh, getting Dr. Bai Luchan, I got, a, I somehow got the, got the gold card. Oh, she didn't get a tail. That's so cute. I somehow got the gold card and... I got Himiko Sama, so I literally got them almost back to back in, in a short amount of time. Wild. I don't know how RNG works in this game, honestly. 
Honestly. Oh, it's so cute. But yeah, I'm still build, trying to slowly build her up a little more. She is quite... Um, I will admit, uh, right now, uh, between folks like... I, I have a shocking amount of Abundance characters. Ho-Ho, uh, and where's his face? And Gallagher. Yeah, I, got, I have Gallagher too. Uh, and of course... Uh, Where's, where's the doctor? Where is the doctor? And of course, Dr. Natasha. These are some pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, healers already that, that I have. So if there's any, but if there's any uh, a situation where I think I really need to like freaking reincarnate a character, uh, Dr. Pilot Chan is the one that I'm going to go for, of course. And of course, of course. <laughs> it's so weird to see my name in this game. It's so weird. I, 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 I wish I had stuck with like I don't know, whatever you were called before this. Not this. What are you called? Case Case nice. Cassius? Well, I know I know Stell is the the female name, but is, is Cassius your your canon male name? I don't know, but strong tank character. Very, very strong preservation character. Although I must say I, I actually find a lot of utility out of March as well, so shockingly enough. Even though it seems like like uh like um like fire like like fire trailblazer. Uh, you know, it seems like the, the more versatile character, but I guess whenever I need to do any ice damage, uh, March surprisingly is uh, quite versatile. Especially because when if you can double up on your follow up attacks, especially in like uh, the simula simulation universe, because of the whole elation thing, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, uh, I am going to do something a little bit off kilter. Okay. So we're going to go here, but we're going to look at the Fates Atlas here. This was fairly new to me. Like, look at this thing. This is essentially like story mode. Now you get to see basically the map, the storyline map. Ooh, like So I was thinking of doing this. Because I, I think, and if I'm not wrong, there is a boss here. A boss here that will appear in Echo of War. And to do that, you have to start off with this first, apparently. So instead of going through the main storyline, which no, I have not completed yet. Uh, uh, I think I've left off. Uh, it's still somewhere. It's still something to do with, uh, with uh, what's his name? Danny Heng's uh, storyline. Story I'm somewhere around there. So I'm really not that deep in the story yet. But I want to do this because I just, I just want to do it. Plus, I actually can't really uh, stay on too long tonight. I've got some stuff quite to do early on in the morning. So, uh, I might as well do this. Not me. Genius Society 81, run me. I called her and screw them here to talk about some important matters. Come back when you're free and introduce yourself to her. That way, she knows who's the person that's been testing the simulated universe. Remember to show Ronmei some respect. You don't usually get to get many chances to meet her. All right, all right, let's do this. When the stars of ingenuity shine. Trailblaze continues. This is a Trailblaze mission. Oh. Ooh, we got rewards here. Oh, all right then. Oh, what's this thing? Neck live. Aw, oh, so cute. Alright, let's give this a go. Hmm, over there, eh? Okay, let, let's just bounce over here first. Masked fools. They seek the pinnacle of hedonism. Ah, man after my own heart. Men after my own heart. Ah. To be one with hedonism. Am I a hedonist? I mean, I am an empty hedonist after all. Uh, through and through. Ron May. A name that's both new and familiar. Hmm. Okay, let me just check on this character here for a second. All are at staff discount prices. It can't get any cheaper than this. Now, how's the volume on that, by the way, folks? How's the volume on that? Oh, I thought I would have uh, more things here. I suppose it's been a while. That is fine, that is fine. 
man with luscious hair. Shall we talk to the man? Let's talk to the man with luscious hair. Wait, wait. Just one second. Let me just check something very, very quickly. So yes, indeed, instead of a... Uh, uh, so instead of, you know, Apex Legends or, or Valorant, um, this has been my go-to game to grind. G to G, I guess. Yeah, G to G, game to grind. I, I, I made it up. I, that's a new new term. That's my new term. <laughs> hmm, nothing special. So boring here. Everyone's wearing the same clothes. This is an obliteration of the staff's individuality. This hairstyle is so cool. Mm, not bad, you got nice taste. Space Station has a strict dress code for all researchers. I have to express myself with the smaller details. I like to obscure. Bob got too unsightly. Ball too hard to pull off. Now, this hairstyle is just right. It's big, curly, and puffy. It feels so good when I swing my head. Okay, okay. Normally, I am not supposed to talk to people outside of the Invincible Space Warhead Association. But after all, this is our first conversation. In the future, if we can't get what the other is talking about, then let's not waste each other's time. Okay. Okay now. Oh. Let's do this. I thought member four, Polka Kakamond, had gotten rid of most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh look who's here. Oh wow, this is a proper cutscene too. You're back. <laughs> This is a summit between three geniuses. It's a special time. All departments are preparing to welcome distinguished guests from the Genius Society. Madame Ron May doesn't like fanfare and probably wouldn't appreciate a crowd to welcome her, so I asked the researchers to keep things simple. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't, I can't adjust the volume. I took her to see the portraits of the society members a few days ago. I wanted to have the researchers make one for her as well, but she declined the offer. I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. As long as she's happy. Why does she sound so petulant? She sounds so like, she sounds like a, like a child that like you, you want her to like, says, oh, oh I want to do this thing for you. And it was, it's obviously a minor thing and you politely decline and she makes a big huff about it. <laughs> I heard Miss Ron May likes snacks and pastries, so I asked the researchers to prepare some traditional desserts from the blue. All of them seem to tickle her fancy. Is Ron May a great well, person? Like asking, is Herda a great person? <laughs> the answer is obvious. Then why isn't your damage output acceptable? You know, I'm not saying everyone has to do stupid amounts of damage. I'm asking for acceptable amounts of damage, Herta. Why is your spin to win feels like spin barely spin to win? Kuru Kuru Reen. Hey there, Refzan. How are you? How are you, man? Everyone, please welcome uh, referee Zan. Uh, um, uh, for, uh, he referees under APAC Wrestling. He's a, he's a Malaysian professional wrestling referee. Yes, an actual professional wrestling referee, folks. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, I'm. As you can see, I'm very, very behind my storylines on, okay? So, uh, I am just now starting starting the, the, the Ron May uh, a mission. Miss Ron May is the very image of a scholar. I heard she once took a little vacation on a desert planet. By the time she left, she'd miraculously created a boom in the local ecology. Ooh. Ooh. So she's like, like that Timothy Chalamet guy? Atreides? Yeah. She just wanted somewhere Oh, if you if you hear that, yes, um, my neighborhood is celebrating Rame riot for some reason. Certainly very <coughs> How are you? She I am good. I am good. Anyone. She looks like a hermit. Pity. I am very good. Anyway, what more needs to be said for someone smart enough to become Herda's research partner? Hmm? Hurry up and head out. Huh? See if you can find her. I'm not sure, but she doesn't seem to get around much. She spends most of her time between the master control zone and the railway platform. Oh, by the way, there's a Maybe small bug flying there? around my room. Uh, I think that's due to the incredible amount of rain. Why is there fireworks here? That was, go, go away, wait. I don't think the bugs harmful or anything, but like, just I don't want it, you know, 
flying on my face. New message. Oh. <clears throat> Curious of surveillance team. Okay, invited spill. Looks like we're in for some juicy news. Rich know it. Got the deets. What is this? Don't leak this from the chat. Rame is coming to the space station. <laughs> She's already here. <laughs> Being slow, you guys. You really are something. But we're still preparing for the welcome story. Rame doesn't appreciate it. What is, what is all this? I heard she's alone even among the geniuses. So all I work for is so nothing. Why am I reading all this? Stop working hard. <laughs> This one's personality isn't all that great. Word. Is there ever a genius who's normal? Screw them seems pretty chill. Okay, fine. I'll give you that. Ooh, screw them. Interesting. When the stars of ingenuity shine. All right, all right. So who have you been using a lot uh, lately, uh, Refzan? For me, it's like uh, a little bit of... A little bit of Himiko-sama. Uh... A shocking amount of ho ho. Look at the little ho ho. He's so cute. He like does this. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, oh, uh, I need to increase the volume. One second, folks. Could, could you hear that, by the way? Uh, that. Let's see, master control room. Is this where I'm supposed to go to? Okay, that's the that's the boss over there. I have to go here. Okie okay, doke. Himiko, Kafka, Black Swan, and Popo. Oh dang! I not, wow, you have so many of the newer characters. And yes, I, I consider <laughs> I consider Kafka one of the newer ones as well, okay? That's how slow I am with, with this bloody game. Even though I, I've been grinding at it quite a lot. You know, obviously when I when I when I stream this game. Next to the railway platform. And could she be No, I only really play the story mode when I'm streaming, after all. Oh, there she is. I have a feeling you're on the right track. I'm gonna take the D when I get back. Ooh. Ooh. You were about to touch her face. Why? Hello. I hope I didn't startle you. Oh. Oh. Oh, Rame! Uh, I suppose we could do this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Mommy, Rame. Wait, is she a mommy? This is a work habit of mine. Using touch to open my senses and letting the details you of your biological existence flood into my brain helps me understand your construction as a living organism. Oh dear. Such is the basis of deconstruction and reconstruction. Whoa. Legs. Do not be concerned. You are very healthy. In fact, impeccably so. A perfect experimental specimen. I like perfect experimental specimens. <laughs> There's a bit of cake in the corner of your mouth. You have to go for that. I expect the views here had me lost in thought. Dang, what a voice on her. What a voice on her. 
I, I mean, looking at her, she doesn't seem like the mommy type. Go in and out of the space but then, station and only discovered today mm. that it was blessed with such calm, open views. It is a wonderful fit for the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossoms, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. She sort of has that um, I like to call it the Yu Kong look. She's got that typical Yu Kong outfit. It's the one that um, like um, uh, it's that typical top that they have. That reveals the chest a little bit. So Himiko Sama has it. Uh, Madam Yu Kong has it. Um, that ice destruction lady has it, and now obviously Ronrei. Come here, look. The blue planet is directly below us. It is so full of life. This dessert is very delicious. Here, take half. Oh, what? Uh, oh. Oh, wow. Well, why does this feel like a weird first date of all things? What's happening? Jing Liu, that's the one. That's the one. I don't, I don't have her yet. Obviously, I've you know used her a little bit here and there. And she's stupid powerful. She's, she feels so strong. Oh my god, Adventurine. Uh, I, I, I tested out uh, Adventurine in the character trial. Uh, is it me or does he seem ob overloaded? Take a bite. Okay, okay. If, if, if you want me to see what happens. Delicious desserts remind people of how flowers look when oh, they wow. bloom. Ingest this dessert one bite at a time, and the sweetness will linger in your mouth. She's being awfully sweet on me. And knowing this game, sometimes things could go awry. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I hope you like it too. You ate one May snack. Okay, do I do I get, get knocked out now? Hmm. So, what do you think? I can certainly prepare more for you. It's become somewhat of a tradition to bring strawberry pastries when I visit Stephen Lloyd. His attendance seems quite dependent on them. This is why we call her mommy. Ah, I see. I see. I see. Um, I don't know. I'm still a little more biased to... to maybe I'm still on the on the because I'm a high, as, as you can see. <clears throat> An outstanding dessert. Ten grams of cubed sugar, one dried and salt preserved plum blossom. Baking and cooking are the same as nurturing a universe. The heat must be controlled, planning must be meticulous, and one must not panic. No matter what happens. That is an oddly revealing outfit for someone who is from the genius society. Unfortunately, there are still too many people in the space station. The clamor is not fitting for desserts. By the way, do you remember what my research is about? No, my research area is short stories about toilets. Wait, what? When did you start to talk? Huh? What's going on? Where? What am I talking about? Uh oh. Uh oh. What well, I have that that that's the most amount of words I've ever heard Trailblazer speak. What? Uh oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> I see. What a cute hobby. That's embarrassing. But remember, the next time something like this happens, it's crucial to mask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. If not, you'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. Oh dear. Let's try again. Now, what else would you like to ask? Uh, what did she do to me? Hmm, toilets. Get with S. Get with S. Renaissance. <laughs> the dessert was tasty. I would like more. I have 
I am so not used to hearing him talk this much. What? What is happening? What, 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 what is happening? What did she do to me? Like, I know he's technically talking in universe, but to hear him actually speak is kind of like... It's just one of the situations where you ask yourself, what is happening? It's one of those situations where you're asking almost to yourself, what is happening? What is going on? This is what's happening now. <sighs> Why can't I say what I want to say? But you are saying what you want to say, unless... Uh, oh, it's like... Oh, you're being forced to speak the truth. <laughs> you have quite the appetite. All right. I'll give you the recipe. Come and have a walk with me. A stroll is the most appropriate post-dessert activity. What is happening? As the masses depart, there's an enveloping calm here. Just like in the no man's land I've entered to in the past. Can you imagine a completely lifeless world? From there, you can glimpse the stars that lie at the very edge of the horizon. Oh. Uh, don't mind me, just uh, switching characters. Oh, wait, uh, team setup. Bison. I'll go to team setup. There, so it's a little more, I suppose, thematically appropriate, eh? Following its celestial trajectory, the Great Teal Star illuminates an endless sea of white across both the sky and land. My mother and I navigated calm glaciers, looking for signs of life on that world, and encountered many bizarre phenomena. It was like finding the single correct piece in a mountain of jigsaw pieces. And the process was convoluted and unimaginably difficult. But it was oh, touching why are you and enthralling getting close well. to me? My apologies. It appears my words have left you perplexed. Please. Don't be on edge. I bear no ill will. I haven't interfered with your linguistic faculties. Such an act would be impolite. I merely made a minor adjustment. In what? The brain? I, I would consider that to be more than just minor. Lady Ronme. She's sus. She's gorgeous, but she's sus. It feels like her design's now almost Deliberate in seducing and and gaslighting in a way. Hmm. A few days ago, Dangerous I made my interest lady. in you known to Herta. My intention is for you to serve as an assistant. Based on our interactions within the simulated universe, I firmly believe you fit the bill. I find extending trust beyond myself is challenging. A single error in detailed research can generate issues and. I despise matters that escape my control. Oh, that's oh, that is that is a Chekhov's gun right there. That is a Chekhov's sent gun of a sentence right there. Despise matters that escape beyond my my control. Therefore, I added anti-truth serum to this dessert. It will not harm you. However, you will be unable to say what you truly think when answering questions related to me. Anti-truth. Wait, anti-truth means lying or against the truth. Oh? Huh? Wait, you will be unable to say what you truly think when answering related questions answering questions related to me. Unable to So I'm lying to you? What? So you don't want me to say what you what I actually think? Treat it as a layer of protection. This will shield my research and your personal safety. Once the problems have been dealt with, I'll give you the antidote. I can also reward you as compensation for being my assistant. I will fulfill your every wish. Problems? Yes. Problems wrought by my own hand. When I first arrived on the space station, I borrowed the face flame from Herta. It's an invention of member number 29 circle. I hope to be enlightened by other society members' results. 
A surge of creativity led me to explore the cultivation of life on the space station. In my imagination, these life forms would be a new variety that are born as geniuses. I plan to name them after Lambda, member number eight of the Genius Society. I don't know where it went wrong. They possess their own sentience, but are nowhere near geniuses. Moreover, my free-range approach seems to have backfired. Mm. In a lab leak incident a few days ago, some of these little life forms ran away and scattered all over the space station. There's a lot of little life forms around this around this station. That's for damn sure. I do not wish for Herta or Asta to be involved in this. Therefore, I'm hoping you can assist in recovering these little life forms. Using me to cover up your dirty work. Ah, to go with the I do trust you. This has nothing to do with them. Besides, the more people involved, the more problems there will be. Ah, this is how problems escalate. This is how problems compound when you keep it to yourself. Mm, sometimes people, even the great ones, can cannot help but to be a little bit too closed off for their own good. The researchers are still treating these entities as visitors. I want to steer clear of making my presence known, so as not to cause undue disturbances. I entrust this to you. Once the little life forms are collected, simply find a proper place for them. The researchers in the Department of Ecology should know about this. And provide you with suitable advice. Okay. As the masses depart, there's an enveloping calm here. Just like the no man's land I ventured to in the past. Yes. My mother and I once spent 11 long polar nights there. Hmm. Okay, yeah, you're not of much help right now. Alright, I suppose, uh, let's hit the others. It's getting oh. late. Where to now? I just, I just missed a really good one to have in, in the team setup. It is actually. Uh, where, where is Madam Yukong? Where is Madam Yukong? This is a huge list I'm getting. Ah, here we go. Should you require aid? Nah, this is the best one. This is perhaps the best uh, technique in the game. Speed, not haste. Yeah, it's so convenient. Oop, wrong way. Whee! About to spin all the way. No. Well, oh, she done over. Wait, aren't you the... Oh, this is from a previous storyline they played play off-stream. Oh, have we met before? Sorry, as a guy, I have to deal with many people every day. Please excuse me, sir, for my forgetfulness. I am busy right now. I'm here to pick up some videos for Mr. Gun Konolev of the Department of Galactic Geopolitics. Sorry, but I don't have time for chit-chat. I'm still waiting for rest researcher Esther to approve the request for VGTIP access. You are free to come here whenever you like. The Department of Galactic Geopolitics Guide welcomes your inquiries. The cold, proper guide from the Department of Galactic Geopolitics is always smiling. On her neck, there's a faint line of numbers. One, five, eight. <laughs> She's a robot. I know, I know. Mm, I'll, I'll, I'm going to focus on the Ron May mission. Don't mind. Oh yeah, and then there's these things too. I'll, maybe I'll handle this in the, in, in, on the stream another time. But now, let's do this. What? A place where the space station stores dangerous experimental results? So everywhere? Would anyone want to know that? Wait, did someone send you here to try to get things out of me? 
Do you hear that, by the way? Maybe someone's birthday. Yeah, could be someone's birthday, perhaps. Perhaps. Ah, uh, are you guys still in, uh, riding that post Raya glow, folks? Are you still enjoying that post Harry Raya glow? Trying to talk a little louder here because I can I can barely hear myself. <laughs> well, that's a weird squiggly one I heard. I'm not doing any private business on the space station. I have absolutely no knowledge of any special hiding places. And I certainly haven't sold any old junk rare treasures or discarded curios or anything like that. Why am I asking you to do this? You're so cute! <laughs> Can I get an autograph? <laughs> wow, really? So the anti-truth series is just gonna make me gobble gobble. So, I really can't say anything about her. Oh, that's interesting. Autograph? What are you on about? You're freaking me out! <laughs> I won't talk to you if you don't tell me why you're here. I heard there's some problems in the space. Let's try this, I guess. Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts if you know that already. The space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. And now, out of nowhere, there's a bunch of little creatures popping up. If you want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Then you'll understand. It's always in the storage zone. Where's the storage zone? It's over here. One second, the mouse is acting up. Oh, no, no one attacked me. Who's attacking me? No. Uh. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Just for kicks, I suppose. I can do this. <laughs> Forget your wallet. <laughs> well, that was quick. <laughs> Why did you come after me, little one? There was no need to. Did I win? Did I win? Not even a thanks. Yeah. Have a little more faith in yourself, Wawa. Anyway, wait, just... Well... Oh, it's just... My bad, my bad. I think. Is it you? It is you. There's that box over there. Let's see now. Uh... Use more appropriate. Uh, I'll just just place you. There we go, and off we go. Oh, I thought I was gonna. Ah, I thought I was gonna miss that. I can do this. Turn out your pockets. Stay the course. I will dispatch you. Your end approaches. Is it a bit loud, folks? Is it a bit loud? Hey, the normal. How have you been? How have you been? Forget your wallet? You, I feel like the music is just at to that five. Spirit never dies. Are you, are you shocked by the characters I've gotten? This sword needs sharpening. Do <laughs> this thing? No, not really. Oh, you're good. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, I'll put a physical one here. Oh my goodness! Uh, I am getting a lot of use out of uh, out of Sushan here. Actually, do I use Sushan? Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, Sushan does stupid amount. Of, I swear she does more damage than than uh than, than Clara these days. The damage so high, really? I don't know. I've I, I've grinded a little bit, but I wouldn't say that much. Wait. 
Get to the storage zone. Where's the storage zone? What, what the? Okay. One second, folks. Wait. I'm. I'm... Oh, it's today. Okay, it's to the right. My bad, my bad. I suppose we could just very quickly get rid of this one here. Been doing a bit of grinding, I suppose. Let me through. I can do this. Stay the course. Gale force. A blade knows no mercy. The fight is set. Want to see what I can do? There we go. I do. I am one of those fellows that does go on like on those uh, videos. The lonely enemy. I wonder what they're always doing. Yeah, exactly. Right. There's always this one fellow just staring out here, looking out there. Not even much to look out there either. I even took a picture of it once. Ah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, there's always this one, that's just that one specific lonely guy. There are so many people. And this seems to be the place. You do. All right, let's put you here. Ron May likes to listen to the space station radio during her research. <sighs> Some of us younger researchers are her super fans. We're always scanning different frequencies to find out what her tastes are. Do you know her favorite tunes by any chance? <clears throat> Doesn't matter what I say. New style storytelling? No idea. I just listen to comedy skits. <laughs> This is an excuse for the main character to say nonsense. So, I really can't say anything about her. As expected. You look like you belong in a comedy skit yourself. I mean, he is sort of known to be literally a raccoon. Digging up all the trash. You kind of deserve that reputation, man. I heard Madame Ronmei is very picky when it comes to snacks. Uh, do you know what her favorites are? Did you finish the uh, new story event? You haven't started? I don't think I did. I'm doing Ron May's mission here. It wasn't this out like so, so long ago. Plum blossom cakes that are freshly salted. This is absolutely going to be. <clears throat> as as any YouTube uh, YouTuber made uh, made a whole cooking video just based on plum blossom cake yet? Have they yet? Have they yet? I'm I'm sure that was made the whole scene and and about the about those cakes made just especially for for cooking youtubers i swear this is what i don't know fair <sighs> fine Ugh, what a headache i mean i could say the truth say what i think Oop. molten cheese tart is the best its outlook is infectious its positive mood has influenced us all Oh, those cutie little patooties. Cutie patooties, little kitty cakes. No spoilers now, no spoilers now, no more. I haven't fully experienced it myself. What's our slogan again? One, stop complaining, change your attitude, and use the delicious molten cheese tart to stop the flow of negative energy. Uh, what? Are you okay? Are you okay? Two, energize yourself. Increase your capacity for action and walk on the path of Molten Cheese Tart's absolute conviction. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh. Our creed, Molten Cheese Tart is the best. 
Who is Molten Cheese Tot? Oh, praise be! You don't know? Molten Cheese Tot is Madame Ron May's top fan! This is how it preaches. What are you talking Those about? Those who offer their love are expressing what are you talking about that? and affection for Miss Ron May! What is wrong with you? Why do you sound old? Are you speaking of which, I haven't met Scroolum yet. How do I meet Scroolum again? I don't mind if you spoil a little bit on, on me for that. Oh, let me tell you something. Mr. Scroolum's followers are all very logical, but they're just awaiting the arrival of the mechanical aristocracy. So they're the mechanicus. <laughs> Since you're so interested, I'll tell you how to secure an audience with the honorable Molten Cheese Tart. You'll need to work hard to get there. You sound so old for someone with such a youthful body. Like me! You need to plaster hearts wherever Madame Ron May <clears throat> has been. If you're sincere enough, the Honorable Moulton Cheese Tart will show itself. <laughs> Why do you sound like an evil villain? Are you okay? Are you someone that I need to vanquish right now? Are you a possible Echo of War where I can collect some, uh, some items from you or something? You can meet him in one of the new Cyquists. Use the function below to make graffiti. You don't have to tell me twice. Or just Dr. Ratio's story quest. I don't think I've gone that far yet. Please spread graffiti in the target area in accordance with the different requirements. Click here to switch graffiti types. Click the spray button to spray graffiti in target area. Only eight graffiti can exist simultaneously, okay. I don't get it, but okay. <laughs> that was just hideous. Put around the ceiling, just, just for kicks. <laughs> this is fun. Am I supposed to do it somewhere? Is this alright? Oh, wait. wait. Am I supposed to like point at this somewhere or something? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just having fun here. Hey, I got one stellar jade. Perform a mysterious summoning ritual. Optional, try to create life. Optional, ask for information about Ron May. Rather suspicious. What's this? Hey, guess what I got my hands on? Where in the street is that this is the downgraded version of Ron May's life cultivation formula. It says 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of starquake, and a few drops of poisonous liquor for Madame Yu Ting Tu. Rumor has it that it once created a talking chair. Not a particularly intelligent one, but boy, did it have a sharp tongue. They dismantled it and used it for firewood. Can you believe it? This is easily becoming a little bit of a disturbing part of Honker Star. Like, this is more like getting to body horror. Let's give it a shot, shall we? First things first, we need to pick up the ingredients. I need to go soon. That's all right, Norman. That's all right. There's always another time. Hmm. We need to add some other good stuff in. Yeah, but don't go overboard. Hmm. And now we mix them together. <laughs> Wait, it says on the recipe, Ron May makes different expressions when nurturing life. Hmm. Suppressing her emotions? Yikes. 
take a look at what you just cultivated. You have nurtured a coriander sesame paste life form. What? Aww. The hell are you? Are you like a weapon in a wrestling match or something? Are you like something that in a in a girl's bedroom? Okay. Aww. When. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh. Okay. Okay. I. I. I think I created life. I just need to talk to more of these fellows. Member 81 of the Genius Society, a resounding name in science and the veritable epitome of life form cultivation. Researchers here have heard so much about her for so long. But once she arrived on the space station, she just took over everything. And what did Madame Hurt to do? Absolutely nothing. Spoiling me? Never fear, the galactic baseballer is here. Hilarious. I, I can't even say that. Dang. This is the first time I've heard Hillblazer sound so frustrated. that <laughs> is this what I'm supposed to do Again, what am I supposed to do here? <clears throat> am I supposed to go out and do this or something? Perform a mysterious summoning ritual. Well, I clearly can't do it here. No, I can't do it here at all. You can only do it in that room, but again, what am I supposed to do? supposed to leave here wait i'm so confused what am i supposed to do uh, yes i'm supposed to make graffiti but like what kind of graffiti my, like is this what i'm supposed to do or something Uh, 
I'm so confused. I don't get it. Is that a puzzle? I, I, I'm not even sure what is the puzzle even, you know? Hold on, hold on. Ah, this is, sorry, folks. This is getting really, like, like confusing here. So I'm... I'm I'm just gonna just check on this really, really quick because I literally have no clue what in the hell to do here. So yes, folks. In just in in the name of just the uh, efficiency, I'm I am I am looking through a, a video right now just to check what in the world am I supposed to do? Are you kidding me? Wait, are you kidding me? That's what I'm supposed to do? Okay. Yep. One makes creation jumps onto the table. Uh oh. No, the little thing. Wait. Which table? Oh, that table. One makes creation. Um, so this is the little life form Ron they made. Oh, it's kind of cute in a weird, spicy sort of way. The researcher appears out of nowhere next to you. I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. <gasps> this is a cheese tart. This is a cheese tart. Really? Really? It looks like a dumpling. How oh, is this a cheese tart? Is this some... Is this... Is this a weird jelly donut, but actually an onigiri situation again? What are you frozen in place for? Oh, you don't understand the honorable tart. That's okay. No worries for situations like this. We've specifically concocted a synesthesia beacon. Wakaka! I'm a genius. A genius among geniuses! Do you sound like Trailblazer? It actually made my voice. Immediately deactivated the specific synesthesia beacon. Aw, now it's cute. That was way too risky. Molten Cheese Tot says Madame Ronme has finally recognized my ingenuity. <coughs> Molten Cheese Tot says, Does Madame Ronme recognize me as a masterpiece? I think she sees you as a failure, little guy. <coughs> Molten Cheese Tot says, Madame Ronme still has not recognized me as a life form that passes the requirements. I need to work harder. Oh, such an enthusiastic molten cheese tart. Are you seen as a god? Is that what you are? Do people see you as a god? Oh, and by the way, sorry, I need to. Uh, it, it's past an hour. I need to stand up. Oh. Yes. Yes. yes sir. Well, you're welcome, folks. You're welcome, by the way. Ugh. If I do not stand up and wiggle around, I will be in trouble. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ah, uh, should I bring my massage gun out, actually? You know what? Why the bloody hell not? I'm going to grab my massage gun out. Oh, okay. No worry, I'm not going anywhere just yet. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Uh, I'm just going to grab my massage gun. Hear that? Ah. Just need to get into the nooks and crannies of where the sun don't shine and just massage it out. Uh, yes, I am putting it in pretty high. Oh, yeah. You hear that? That's the sound of good vibrations, baby. <laughs> ah. Now the other side. Yo. Give him a leg. Ah, there we are. There we go. Okay, let's set our, our butts down, shall we? Ah. Hope you guys uh, embrace this little tradition of mine. You know, you should do the same as well. Don't sit down too long, folks. Get up and stretch a little. There's a kind of attachment reserved for the creator. To the world, you are but one person. But to me, you are the entire world. Oh, Madam Ronme. Hey, you. Yes, you. Don't you have anything you want to say to Molten Cheese Tart? You should at least express how you would like to follow Molten Cheese Tart. We wouldn't want to mistake you for an agent of gray bean paste, would we? What is going on? There's, what is going on? What is going on? Why, 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 why? Well, it feels like I'm in a dream right now where everyone's just saying nonsense, but they all treat like it's just logic. It's like, it's like if, if two plus two equals, well, molten cheese tart. There's no way Ronme would like you. You heartless dessert. Is this just an excuse for him to say weird shit? I almost forgot. I can't say anything about Ronme. You! Shh! Quiet! Oh, the honorable molten cheese tart may have a crispy exterior, but deep down inside, it's incredibly sensitive and delicate. How is this a cheese tart? It looks like a dumpling. A dumpling. It's working so hard just to get Madame Ronmay's attention. You see, the honorable molten cheese tart has always been fighting against gray bean paste in terms of flavor. The honorable molten cheese tart is a firm believer that people's lives need to be optimistic. Optimistic. They this is having it up. Receive Madame Ron May's recognition and have been working so hard. Which do I want to know? I suppose this is slightly more important, but this is... This gets into weird cult territory right here. Do you like the taste of your leaders? Is basically the question. I don't want to deal with that right now, man. Okay? I, I got something to do early in the morning. I don't, need to, I don't need this to keep me up at night, so I'll just ask this. You need to call it the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart. <sighs> Mm, it's genuinely puzzling. Despite Molten Cheese Tart's remarkable qualities, why hasn't Madame Ron May acknowledged it? It's clear that it yearns for her love. What kind of love, though? Love from the creator to her creation? Familiar love? Doesn't sound right. Romantic love? Definitely not. I don't know. Expecting me to understand love is like asking me to map the farthest reaches of the universe. You are on a space station. It's not, it's, not, it's not your job. Remember, as long as love is your compass, you're on the right track. And in the wise words of the Honorable Bolton Cheese Tart, love must be shouted from the rooftops. This is getting very strange. Talk a little bit of molten cheese tart. That, that depends if the honorable tart agrees to it. Ah, uh, tart. Don't call it. Just FYI, folks, if you're in somewhere in, in the British Isles, do not call anyone a tart. Okay, you'll get in trouble. Oh, the honorable molten cheese tart has agreed. Try to. 
Communicate with Ron May's creation in a different way. You can throw those little monsters in here. Serious? This is a one way passage with the other end connected to the star zone. It's extremely safe. Isn't that where you were buffed? Accommodate Ron May's creation. The hell do I do with you? The, you coriander sass me, paste life form you. All right then. Not much I can do there. How do you move? Like a little mooncake thing. A little mooncake. <laughs> I'm lazy to move on my own. It's a toilet. What is this? Is this some weird art film commentary thing that, that the Honkai Star Wars writers snuck into? What is that toilet? <laughs> Why is that toilet? What the f <laughs> You like my little laugh? <laughs> you realize warm miscreation cannot be put in at all. Yeah, because it's a fat dumpling. Why are you stirring up trouble in the space station? Seems to believe that only by being passionate can it earn Ron May's approval. Uh, you're cute, even though you're kind of ugly. Hmm, there seems to be some commentary here. Tenderly activate the report, activate the teleporter or callously. Yeah, that'll be nice. Is there really any difference? Was ruthlessly flushed down the john. It'll be safely transported to the storage zone. To the storage zone. Okay, use your nouns correctly, please. Hmm, alright. You have to go here? It's getting late. Where to now? Oof, we have to go inside here. You know what? Uh, we got time to just talk with uh, Sheila just a little bit. I just was about to hinkle. We should be able to move forward once it's approved. Hold on, they're looking for me. What are you doing? I'm reporting on my work in the Galactic... In the Department of Galactic Geopolitics. As you can see, I'm a guy in the department. You can call me Sheila. Please, please feel free to consult me. I have something to ask. Hmm. What action will the Department of Ge Galactic Geopolitics take? A gun. Alright. Try its best to make up for this disaster. If you're not well mentally, I can help you release some stress. It's the least I can do for the space station. Do you usually do psychological counseling for everyone? No, I'm going to do thought experiments such as short quiz questions. Thought experiments can exercise people's mental capacity and help me understand them. It helps me to get along with the researchers. When the crisis passes, would you like to try? About Mr. Gunn. Every wise and philosophical. I'm sure you'll get a lot of interesting knowledge if you talk to him more. Especially about fool's play. I don't think anyone will know more about it than him. Hmm, I guess there's not much else. Alrighty.
You're here. Herta called Skrulem and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply, and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. And now, I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. I don't want Herta to worry herself over these frivolous matters, even though she probably wouldn't care anyway. Just in case, I want someone who will be on my side. In other words, you. But I've known Herta much longer. Am I really the right person for this? Help me. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you. Don't pry too much and keep your expressions in check. All right, let's go. Where are we going? Hey, that's Skrulem. I have not met Skrulem yet. This is my first time meeting Skrulem. Holy shit. Hi, Ron May. I've been waiting for you. Oh, you're here too? Looks like you two have become quite friendly. It's good to see you, sir. Affirmation. This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Was I supposed to meet you somewhere earlier than this? I thought I was supposed to meet you in a more proper setting than this. Though you weren't invited, I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? Hmm. Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. Ooh. She passionately. He approves. I like Let him already. Let me get straight to the point. I think it's time to find another partner for the simulated universe. You wish to kick Steven out? Of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Or whatever. Look, I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have a chance to be involved in this decision making anymore. Question. Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Yes, mm. a fifth genius. The reason for our gathering is clear to everyone present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the answer? No one can refuse the secret of the eons. Not even Xandar will definitely get a response. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? That'd be great! Hey, Lord of Silence, are you listening? I'm member number 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite some time. I like his monocle. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's monocle up just, just because he's he's here with us. There we are. Our fishing. I like his outfit too. Very nice. Probability, member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. So are you guys choosing or is this someone randomly showing up? pass. Given Dr. Primitive's shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers, the IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal-free. What about you, Chingdu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? Is she still alive? Can we ask him to leave if we are to discuss this topic? The process will be long and boring. There's no need to take up other people's time. You brought him in after all. It's up to you. All right. Let me walk you out. Mm. And what the heck is this? Seems like a programming error. Oh, this fragment of Ron May. Have you seen it in the simulated universe before? Mm 
tempted to say no. Because I've, I've not seen it before, but I know what, I know what will happen. I'll just say yes. The simulated universe is my home. <sighs> I'm speaking nonsense again. It's probably an isolated glitch. <sighs> Fine. I'm used to turning a blind eye to these things. It makes life easier. I am curious, though. Are you going to keep it, Ronmei? I probably will. Records indicate he likes this occurrence. All right, I agree. As long as it helps you with your research, you can do whatever you want. Mm, she's giving a lot of thrust to, to Ronmei. I don't know how I feel about that. Come along. I'll see you out. The air in the space station has a pleasant quality. Affirmation. Knowledge flows within it. We anticipate the inclusion of a different perspective. I await our esteemed guest and shall offer the highest courtesies. I'm confident that our discussions will generate illuminating insights. No, I don't get to ask anything else. Ah, oh, we've asked about the doctor. What's wrong? You're not leaving. I want to know about um, number four. Polka, talk about it. Female wears a fashionable scarf. I find her rather fascinating. Oh, come on. That's it. It appears I was overthinking things. Impulsive behavior is pretty characteristic of her, after all. Why are we going there? Thankfully, it was just a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. Mm. I see that you've recovered the life form in the master control zone. Thank you. Well done. No, you misunderstand. While Herta is tied up in meetings, you might find it more convenient to roam the space station. There are some things that I must tell you now. If I wait for the meeting to finish, then it might be too late. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. There's more than just one, and some are stored in a sealed zone. Herta uses that place to welcome visitors from across the stars, or to welcome members of the Genius Society. However, due to the Legion's invasion, it is no longer open to the public. And now my headache is stored there. There's much you don't know about the space station, and even more about Herta. But there is some information mm. I can give you. That place is also used to welcome non-humanoid visitors, and has a shuttle that connects to outer space. I'm giving you my access card. Give me your hand, and I'll input your fingerprint into it. Stay vigilant, Assistant. Should you come across a threat you can't handle, just alert me. I'll come to your aid no matter what. Remember, there is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone. That's where my headache is stored. Once you're back, come find me on the railway platform. Then you'll understand everything. Hmm. Leave the simulator... We were in the simulated universe? What? Oi. I was in the si This is the simulated universe? What? Wait, did we en- Did we enter it? What? Wait. I'm freaked out. Do we enter it? Bloody hell. Oh, 
Hello there. Want to see what I can do? Fiends or devils? I'll crush them all. Do a little bit of this. Ooh, nice. Take this, shape of Taishu. Rise, Venus. Wonder if we can get it. Dodge this. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. Get them. I will dispatch you. Your end approaches. It's time. There we go. Let me quick walk out of that. Get it now? That's the power of the Cloud Knights. Okay. I suppose we need to go. And what would a here? sealed zone look like? Uh-oh. Ooh! <laughs> we have a whole cutscene here. Oh. Spooky. Uh, why is this like a horror, horror scene? Wait, no! Happening. Spooky. Oh, spooky. Wait, why are you scared? You're like a freaking tank. I've never seen so much expressions of him. Ooh. Here we go. I think. Interesting. Find a mysterious little robot. Oh, this is new. This area is completely like silent. Huh. Interesting. I've been here before. Somewhere around here. We should be ready for it. I don't know. I, I, I'm feeling that we should uh, prepare. I definitely want you here. Ah, I, I know, I know. Uh, we'll, we'll put Dr. Ray show you. Yeah, there we are. There it is. You there, little robot. Little robot. Okay, don't kill me now. Buzz. What's up with this unit? Right, cold rice it robot. Looks different from the one in the master control zone. Buzz, Madam Herta, open zone. Buzz. To welcome alien species, galactic visitors. High risk zone, buzz. Service staff, inorganic life forms, buzz. Permission status, Madam Ron Nay. Permissions granted, Madam Herta. Fine, as long as it keeps her happy, buzz. Buzz, I am a twin of the rice frying robot. I am the leftover rice frying robot, Buzz. So you like the sous chef? Or I suppose the twin that no one thinks about. Maintain zone operation. Job of inorganic life forms, Buzz. Welcome, Buzz. Visitor, how can I help? Fry leftover rice, Buzz. Wow, that's wow. That reminds me of that robot from uh, what was 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 the show? 
It's the one with the crazy scientist and, and the and the weird and the sad grandson. Rick and Morty, yes. There's a robot there, just like you. Rather sad robot. Try leftover rice, Buzz. Okay, we get it. Welcome, visitor. What do you need? Conclusion: You cannot enter. Probability: fifty percent. Other paths are open. Assessment: Seeking directions, Buzz. Indeed. Suggestion: Proceed to basement. Locate records of cultivation path, Buzz. Well, nowhere to go but there, I suppose. Oh my. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> yeah, Sotarium. Oh. We left the safe zone now. Let's see what kind of horrible enemies will we encounter here. <coughs> Can teleport. That is our wish. Hmm. Hmm? Wow, this place is genuinely a little bit spooky looking. That the incubator. Jeez. Since when were knowledge and wealth mutually exclusive? Hmm. Spooky. Enter safe zone. All right. Things for me to collect around here. Very good. Very good. Much else, I suppose. Okay. Just, just the trailblazer being trailblazer. What's this? The kindling for the face flame is fascinating. Unfortunately, before the research could be completed, it vanished. I've initiated new attempts. The growth status of the two samples this time is promising. I incorporated personal taste preferences into the concept, but I'm uncertain about the outcome of such an action. They simultaneously possess two sets of emotional traits. They are at once cute, weak, mm -hmm. sentimental, mm -hmm. and sensitive. Mm -hmm. Yet are also fierce, mm -hmm. instigating, demanding, mm -hmm. and confident. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, they also possess a kind of inclination, a yearning for their creator. It manifests as a <coughs> natural, inherent emotion, similar to that of a baby towards its mother life towards sustenance or the peculiar bond between humans you are oddly robotic huh what's that sound out there hmm? oh oh kitty Oh, that's a little mooncake cat. This is the headache wrong they mentioned. It's just a different flavor. Kitty. You can carry it. Wait, you're the gray bean paste? Meow. Are you? Meow. Oh, kitty. Not one of Rome's recognized works. 
Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. Too much negative energy. Don't like negative energy. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Too much negative energy. Wait, wait, I gotta do I gotta do it with my sad face. Too much negative energy. Don't like negative energy. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, put it, put it. Everyone feels down once in a while. <laughs> Rose! Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah. Man's got, man's got mommy issues. Why? Why am I a failure? Aww. What's that noise? Uh, I need to find a place for this little one. That sound seems to be from that locked room. How do I get in? What's that? What's this weird? Aha! I knew it! I knew it! Wait, do I do I attack you? Will of preservation. We'll just do this just in case. How close do I have to bloody be to it? These are new. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> You don't attack very aggressively. I can take a bunch of that, I guess. These are new. Ooh, they're pretty hardy. What's the levels of these? Six. Mm. Juvenile sting and gnaw sting. Uh oh. A test. Zero points. No more playing nice. Dodge this! I can do this! Ooh, these fellows are hardy. Answer me. S.A.S. Perkippi. Knowledge. The measure of truth. Let's go, let's go. Interesting. Nah, you won't. Nah, you won't. You'll do fine. You're doing fine. I see you're doing a great job. Come on, guard. This is the power of Dr. Risha right here. Wait, wait, what? No, that's no fair. Bloody A. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so clearly Ching Chui will be very useful here. All right, Ching Sha will be very, very useful here Zero indeed. I can do this. Lands at the ready. Your answers. Answer me. Interesting little enemy. You get it now. That's the power of the cloud knight. No, poor thing. Okay, let's switch this up. Let's put Ching Chui here. 
I switching trade, even though it seems like she's like a gacha character for damage. I'm able to get some shockingly consistent damage out of her. Where the hell is she? Really doesn't look like much, but no need to worry, Warhol. She's got some genuinely good damage about her. Feeling lucky. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So they all be looking behind me at first, so that's why they're not. I'm not stuck Look. on just yet. Luck of the draw. Please and <gasps> victory. Oh, they've got some high defense in them. Oh man, they've got some high, high defense. In them. Test. Oh, they are hard D. Goodness. Lance. Forward. Get them. Wait for the tiles. They are hard D. I'm on guard. That's not a scratch. Oh my goodness. Essay yeah, they are pretty hardy these things. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Answer me. Zero points. I can do this. Hmm. I feel like healing up this. Just in case. Fiends or devils. Like this. I'll crush them. So this ultimate of a makes a part harmony character. A healer that can give a give a damage boost as well. Insane. Insane utility. Just look at how much she does. Okay, at least it can cause a bit of a chain effect. That's good, that's good. See how these characters are they can be. They're pretty, pretty dangerous. Ooh, double A. Eh? Double A. Eh? I don't mind if I do then. All right, if you're going to double it, you're going to double it. Where is... Where is Madame Yuko? Oh, if we're going to double it. Yeah, take advantage of that indeed. For the theater of the mediocre. Luke. Oh jeez, what happened to that one? Hmm. I have to get rid of this thing soon. Feels like it. Spirit never dies. To the clouds. I'll do this first. The wind yeah, is rising. Sure. Boom. From the blue. When they keep quiet, they come. Right, enough. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hey, double up. Nice. Answer me. I don't exactly know why she doubles up sometimes, but it's very useful. <laughs> I think it's part of it. I think it's part to do with her Eidolon, I think. I think so let me just check very quickly. So let me just collect these really quick. Uh, okay. Where is... Oh, let me just look at, look at that really quick. I think it's one of her Eidolons. The fact that I have all six of hers is insane. Ah, yes, this one. With all Taki, use, using basic attack or enhanced basic attack, immediately launches one full up attack.
So a 24% fixed chance to do it. Which lasts until the end of the current turn. Just like the current... I feel like it only ever occurs like once per battle, I think. It's never occurred for me more than once per battle, I think. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. There's something inside here. That access is just yet. This one's facing us. Oh, no, it's the butt facing. I can take it. I'm asking questions. Spirit I'm never dies. Do this first. Gale force. Wait for the tiles. So I want to do this. <laughs> Luck of the draw. Double it up. And victory! So I can even Say do yes. this too, just to really number it The measure of truth and falsehood. There we go. Easy. Get those chain reactions going. We're on a roll. <laughs> Aww. It's really gain forcing me to gain sympathy to it. Aww, little things. I never imagined there'd be so many of them. Can I sit on them? Please tell me that I can sit on them one day. They look so suitable. May we sit on you? Hey, what are you doing here? You are here too? Uh, seems like this is the other end of that one-way path. Hmm. Before I touch that, I just want to look around here for a little bit. Ooh, treasure. I like me some treasure. Ah, uh, I'll touch the net first. Well, I see something there that I want to touch on. Ooh, look at that. Oh, they're all slightly higher than me too. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. All right. Okay. As good as hope four is, actually, I'm going to switch it out with uh, this one here. Today's fortune is. <laughs> This should be a good one. Feeling lucky. For the theater of the mediocre. Oh dang, they are attacking the thing. Huh. Okay, these guys are gonna be pretty, pretty tough. Well, let's do this. Just how fast are these guys? My god. I'm asking questions. Oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> only that's one, though. Pretty good damage, at least. Oh, jeez, what? Are you kidding me? Holy... Balls axe. me. I was not expecting that level of damage. Spirit, help. Wait for the tiles. 
Oh, this is problematic. Come on. My turn. <laughs> at least, at least he does damage. I'm asking questions. Oh, should I? I don't even have any other cat. Oh, how long does that outrage last? One turn. Oh, bloody hell. That lasts so long. Oh, this is really, really difficult. Oh, and still continues? Are you kidding me? Bloody hell. I think I can... Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Your answers? Bloody hell, that is good to me. When they keep quiet. Gotcha. Oh my god. That is so difficult. Zero points. Bloody hell! Uh, no, I can't really do much right now. With this, oh, this is actually really, really difficult. Do I use this? Do I use this? I don't want to break. Oh my god, okay, just use away. this immediately, immediately. <laughs> Not bad. Five points. Here, try this. Thank you, comrade. Oh, are you kidding me? Look. <laughs> what? Stay oh, down. are you kidding me? That is so difficult, bloody hell. Oh, and the, his cleanse is, is freaking tied to his ultimate too. At least you recovered quickly. A test. Mediocre. I can take it. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow, that is hard. Spirit never dies. This is still throwing on damage, I guess. Oh my god. The wind is rising. I've not been challenged like this in a while. <clears throat> Jeez, I might actually lose a character here. Zero points. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. When they keep quiet, look at oh, the I'm just going to use this immediately. I kind of need to. Please. No, it does not, unfortunately. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, oh, I can't believe I'm using this now. in a while that better be worth it four stars it's almost always fighting the enemies itself that actually that, that is actually far far more worthwhile bloody hell that was difficult
This is a work from home commentary. Hey, it's Arta. Imagined there'd be so many of them. The final days that member number 23 Acha spent in the mechanical city showed me that even the longest of lives, such as hers, mm. have a limit. I'm now certain that the outcome of this cultivation is... failure. Life can exist in thousands of different forms, which means the form itself has no purpose. These life forms are very advanced in their own concepts, and can even trigger chain reactions such as synesthesia, but that is not what I desire. I'm starting to feel lost. Perhaps the question, what is the essence of life? Never had an answer. Number one, Sandar. Have you ever felt this loss? Oh, wow. Or resigned? Hmm. Interesting. You guys okay there? It's looking cute. Are you guys edible? You guys have a snack for me? Are you guys the snacks that I can eat, perhaps? Aww. This scared. Are you telling me to keep going? Hey, as long as there's treasure to be had, I don't mind. Life is countless and varied in form. I firmly believe in that. Its beauty is like a myriad of flowers, and I want to pluck the one that never wilts. The patterns of all things always have complicated and enchanting exteriors, while their inner essences remain simple and plain. If we were to trace things back to their roots, just one equation would be enough to solve the confusion of all life. Ever since I was a child, I have always delighted in observing aspects of microscopic creatures, such as the speed with which slime molds devour objects. I have also gazed far and wide across the macroscopic world, investigating the progress of the universe up to this day. It was all very simple. I wish to discover the true essence of life, something that all individuals possess unknowingly, whether it is the materialism of their existence or an unknown entity beyond corporeal realms. Mm. To avoid blind faith in science, I cautiously raised a query. Would Ram May be able to peel away external influences? Just like pinpointing a coordinate, would she be able to uncover life's most primordial and beautiful form of existence? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach, and that is... Yeah. Hmm. Oh! Ah! Oh, it got me! It got me! I thought I nearly dodged it. I thought I dodged it. I love all you guys. Oh, much more manageable. Sheesh, you guys hit hard. Hmm. Try to prepare Dr. Natasha for this. Or heck, even, uh, you know, maybe even, what's his name? Uh, uh, what's his name? Pella. Yeah, Pella, Pella could be useful in this. Concept, I, I suppose. When they keep quiet. Wow. Gotcha. Come on, you got this? Oh, for six. Huh. Specimen sighted. Huh. 
Okay, we said load up the ultimate. Ah, uh, you see that coming? Look. SAS Perkippi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Got the defense? Rising. Should I use this? Bolt. From the blow. Any chance to break with quantum? Zero oh, that's the one to go for. That's absolutely the one to go for. Choose to strike. Perfect. Oh, are you kidding me? Your answers? Oh, that is so annoying to deal with. Okay, I need someone that can lie. The, oh, I actually, I, actually, uh, what, what's his face? March would be useful in this context, I suppose. A test. Stay the oh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Answer me. Zero points. That is so annoying. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is so annoying. Yeah. Wait, is there no other way? I thought I, I saw a little thing here. Okay, let me just heal up. Oh, jeez. Okay. Maybe a little while longer. But I don't know how long I can last. Okay. Uh, I need... Where's my... Where's March? Ah. March, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need March for this because I need someone with an active... Uh, active cleanse. That looks ominous. Yeah. The duration of sunlight exposure is a crucial factor affecting mood. Basking sunlight has proven to be an effective method to alleviate negative moods. So correct, actually. So correct. Sounds fitting. Comlet Grave. Stay beaches. here for a bit. Aw. Guess you can chill here now. Did something just open? Two fried rice robot. Is this your rice cooker? Wow, I can't talk to you. I'm a little surprised by that. These pillows? This feels almost Metroidvania-esque. A little bit on the spooky side, I must say. Got an Australia, so can't complain. Hmm. I can't go on. I'm going here. 
Так. We stop missing the era of low resolution. You? Hidden room. Buzz. Only Madame Ron May has permissions. Please submit your ID. Buzz. Permissions granted. Buzz. Select Buzz. from the below services. One. Check historical incubation records. Two, inorganic life form companionship chat service. This function has been damaged. Buzz. Pretty, pretty. Is this? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach. And that is an emanator. I cannot comprehend what an emanator is. This is like. A bug that we were dealing with just now. Those bug creatures. Scholars view them as the executors of the eon's power. So when did it begin? And at what point did they become closer to the eons than any other life form? At first, I tried to create a genius. I failed. That question has no solution yet, and a long journey of discovery still lies ahead. However, erudition isn't the only path in the universe. If we set logic aside, would there be more primitive and pure emanators on other paths? Hmm. This is a Metroidvania shit. Casey, I was able to see the beginning and end of the swarm disaster through the simulated universe, obtain data on the Imperator and Sectorum and their descendants, replicate them, nurture them, and create a brand new scientific discipline. It is a logical decision. I will certainly succeed. The entity that I reconstruct will bloom into a life never before seen. Will Herta and Skrulem like this experiment? Most likely not. Therefore, before they realize what I am doing, I must hurry my work, as well as find a fitting assistant. Permission granted, Buzz. Select from the below services. One, check visitor records. Two, open incubator entrance. Hmm. Madam Ron May, Buzz. Alien species, Buzz. Man with plaster head, Buzz. Man with plaster? What's that? This seems like there's something new. Permission granted. That sounds coming from above. They want all this then. All right, before that, let's just do a quick scan around the room. Grab whatever we need. And hope for the best, I guess. I do need to head out soon, though I must. Ah, who goes there? Hmm. Yeah, gotcha. Ah, barely any. Oh, let's just do this now. Watch this. Move. Hey, all of them are frozen. Okay. Draw. Please. I'm not gonna give you guys any face here. Victory. No face. Kippy. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Oh, this is one nice way to pile on the damage, I guess. Zero points. 
All right, there we go. Uh, try that again. Welcome back, Nomu. Welcome back. Just ready, playing some baby. bugs, going all Starship Trooper, I suppose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see, I can hit this right now. Oh, come on! There we go. You couldn't have done it without me. Hmm, there's two of them. Oh, luckily, I can do this. I have so many of these that I can just use them wherever I want. <laughs> ah, oh man, I keep. I knew he was coming forward. I knew it and I still fell for it. I still fell for it. You can't run! Jeez, a triple. Oh, no ice boots. Answer me. There we go. Let's load this up. I hate bugs in HSR. They Victory! keep reproducing and my characters can keep up. Interesting phrasing you got there, my friend. Gotta try hard sometimes. I'll use this to my boss. Of course there's an Of course there is. Actually, I think I can use this now. Oh, I guess I don't have to. Is there a way to see these damn things? Okay, I know it's moving forward. I know it's moving forward. I just don't know where it is. More than likely, it's going to be... Uh, Feeling lucky. It's going to be involving uh, something imaginary. So I might as well for the theater of the mediocre. Hit it first. We'll attack. Up! Oh, Up! Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It didn't attack. Why did it attack the statue? You're supposed to attack the damn statue. Questions. Bloody hell. Ah, that's a test. Told you yeah. I could fight. Luckily, luckily, I, I I strongly considered building up Dr. Ratio from quite an early from quite early on. Wait for the tiles. Huh. So I'm able to deal with it pretty okay. Too. What level is it anyways? Is this E7? Yeah. Even at this level it still no, feels too the measure of truth and falsehood. Gotcha. You're gonna waste all my school gotcha. points. Oh. I can just do this. Then. Choose him to strike. Wow. Specimen sighted. Got the defense? There we go. A test. Zero points. Yep, 
Yeah, the du the duplication thing is really Trust annoying to deal with. Calculations predicted. I'm just gonna attack it now. Ha! Jeez, it's so I fast. Hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Your answers? Answer me. Told you I could fight. When they keep quiet. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Gotcha, my turn. Oh. Whatever. Luck of the draw. Please. And victory! There we go. Perfect. Alright. I don't need to heal just yet. Try that again. Okay, good, good, good. Follow up. Hey, there them all. Good evening, good evening. Just doing a little bit of a... Is this considered a side mission? Actually, I'm actually not too sure. I'm actually not too sure if this is considered a side mission or, 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 or no, actually. Yes, chain infected. Chain infected. All right. Just as my calculations predicted. Is there anything else here? No, I think I made like a little round. I think that's what happened. I made a round. just wondering how many uh, do I have enough for a little bit of this no I don't have enough of this just yet I think pity pity ah don't even have enough to do one to collect I don't, I can't, I don't, think, I, I don't think I can Collect enough strategies to do a pull just yet. Just yet. I'm going to heal up. Do I want to heal up? Yeah, I'm just going to heal up just in case. I have a strong feeling that this feels like a boss battle. Just waiting to happen. Look at this. This feels so much like a boss battle. Who's that? Is that Ron Ray? Huh? There's someone in the distance. Who is that? Oh shit! I think I know who that is. I think I know who that is indeed. Yeah. A I, genius move. A genius move. And how will you counter it? <sighs> Only an idiot would ask such a question. Only an idiot. Would Just ask move this here. Just move this here. <sighs> you look distressed. Something the matter? Something the matter. Hmm. <laughs> If that's the case, if that's the case, you better get thinking. You better get thinking. Are you <laughs> waiting for a sign? Time is ticking. Descend via the elevator. What you seek is there. Are you waiting for a sign? Time is ticking. Descend via the elevator. What you seek is there. 
How's that? How is that? Eh? Eh? He's playing chess by himself. How can you even? Have you considered whether the answer to your question will be of any relevance to our current predicament? Why are you wearing a lady's head? Have you considered whether the answer to your question will be of any relevance to your current predicament? Let's face it, someone like him, pretty obviously for me. Pretty obvious for me. If a question me. is of no help, then don't ask it. Time is clearly precious to the both of us. Time is clearly precious to the both of us. <sighs> Never mind. Allow me to clarify something. I know exactly who you are. And I'm aware you are in Ron May's employ. This was not my intended destination. I just happened to find my way here during my visit and saw what she was up to. My goals are roughly aligned with yours. Since you're here, I won't intercede. But should you fail, I will be forced to prevent some avoidable misfortunes. Avoidable misfortunes. <laughs> so he and I are both equally snivelly. That's all you need to know. Just two paragraphs. Very effective communication. <laughs> Why do you win? Because head. I can't bear to see idiots. Of course, they wouldn't want to see me either. The real Ron May's creation is hidden in the giant incubator below us. Go. Take the elevator and bear witness to this genius masterpiece. Smells like a boss battle. Oh. Witness the big trouble. Oh, it smells like a boss battle. You cannot tell me this isn't a boss battle. Surely this is a boss battle. I think you'd be just down there, right? Gave up and use strength. Let's see if I have to resort from that. I, I, I mean, I, I, I had to a few times as well with certain bosses. Oh wow! Oh, this is absolutely a boss battle. Are you kidding me? Wait, is it? This Wait. Is huge. The escaped? Has an area this what the? It escaped. Quick tip, advice to use two useful characters and two useless, still need HP characters. Hmm? Uh, I think I know what you mean, I think. I'll stick with this setup first, because I think it's useful. I, I hope so. I think so. Wait, when did it escape? Huh? Ooh, this is some alien shit right here. Like really Scott alien. Oh my. Here we go. I was not expecting to meet the boss. Propagation clone? How can that be? Oh, jeez. Need I teach someone a lesson? I almost have the right tools for this. Oh, great. It has quantum resistance, too. Entanglement. Okay, okay, clearly. So, unfortunately, Ron Ching Chui is kind of dead weight here, unfortunately. SAS Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. 
I did not realize that he was holding such a deep frown when he was saying all that. Goodness me. Let's test your knowledge. My turn. Hmm. I'm going to defense up just in case. You know it's a boss, but when everything's moving in slow motion. <laughs> too useful, too useless, just right. Interesting. I, I, I think I know what you mean. But the simple fact that I, that I fought against the previous enemies, I think. Fail. Oh, and it, oh man, and I, and I'm using a character, and I'm using a healer that, that doesn't even me, break the weakness either. Oh, uh, of course, oh, of course. Oh, and there goes another enemy. Try that again. You oh. Have the worst oh, you gotta break his weakness. Me. Bloody hell. Uh, this should do the here, trick. Ah, good, good. Better late than never. You could do this at least. Well, that's good to know. Star Crusher, Swarm King, Scara, Scara Kabaz, Scara Kabaz. Oh man, that. Oh jeez. I might fail at this. I might. I might. I, I'm not sure if, I, sure if I can get out of this alive. I'm asking the question. Oh man, I gotta break the weakness of this damn thing. Never stop thinking. Oh, how many is he gonna make? Next. How many is he gonna make? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh boy, this is gonna be so annoying. Oh boy, this is gonna be so annoying. Watch this. Okay, I got, I got her ultimate. I can rely on, I guess. Try that again. You're annoying. You can't okay. run. Then I can use this. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, thank goodness, March's utility is a lot better than it seems at first. Try that again. Oh, she's she's so busy. She is so busy. Look at the draw. Please, 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 please. <gasps> Looks like victory. Use enough damage. <laughs> oh, I'm. Barely making a dent. Oh, this will drag out forever. This is great. Let's test your knowledge. SAS Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals Ooh, look truth at that face. and falsehood. So scowly, but so handsome at the same time. Told you I could fight. Fail. Get out. I'm tempted to do this. Better late than never. There we go. Time for the payout. Zero points. Next. Yes, go Kablooey and everyone. Luckily, the freezing is doing a lot of work for me. Do you have answers? Never stop thinking. Oh my god, I'm barely dealing a dent to it, too. Oh, something like, like Lara would be really, really good here, actually. I'll, I'll see how long I can, I can last. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll see how long I can last. But this is really hard to deal with. Should, should, should I actually switch to to more appropriate characters? Because I really don't think I can last this long. Cause especially because there's this two more rounds to deal with. You know, what? Uh, why not? Why not? Uh, I, I know I'm copying out a little bit, but I do, I, I I do have to like go off. I I actually don't want to stay up too late, actually. So I'm going to switch things up. Uh, physical, I think, was used here. Uh, switch this here. Uh, ice is actually pretty good too. I don't think I need to do any debuffing. Uh, Tasha Sensei, really? I think that'll be yeah. That that might not be a bad one actually. Hmm. Okay, inventory. Where's my? Let's see, I can use these as well. Now I can also add healing as well. It's especially because, uh, especially because Marsh also now provides healing as well. So that's really, really good. Okay, now we got, now this will be more efficient, I hope. My bad. No. Okay, uh, this is unskippable. I resulted in fire MC for this and still couldn't beat the boss. Huh? Yeah, but the, the, this boss doesn't isn't weakness isn't weak to fire. If there's anything I learned in this game is that if at all possible, match the weakness break. That will that will be that'll give you the best fighting chance and for my case I guess is to be most to be as efficient as possible. All oh, right, let's give this a go. How can that be? Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Go away! Did you hit? Did you hit? Yes. There we go. Zero points. Next. Okay, now, well, now we're efficient with it. Someone a lesson? Now we're efficient Let's with it. Let's test your knowledge. My turn. Um. With hit this one here. here. How can we lose? Savor the vigor of it. Fail. Count. Oh, now we're cracking the weakness much, much faster. No, because I need Fire MC to protect my whole team and let the boss attack her instead. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Yeah, that's a good strategy, I guess, if you're, uh, I guess, lacking in the, in, in certain, in the, perhaps, like, the most ideal characters, I suppose. <laughs> oh, boy. Never stop thinking. Oh, are you kidding me? Zero points. Next. So, if at all possible, I prefer to have literally every one of my characters be able to contribute to the weakness break. Just help. Here comes the medicine. Oh, thanks a lot. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Ah, I should have waited a bit one more time. Should have waited one more time. Watch this. But I can need to be do this. Oh, this will be a lot of damage. Oh, 18k, I let's go. To too. Far off. Okay. Lavrock's the perfect one for this. Ah. Yeah, I just missed chill out for my characters. That follow up damage. 
Let's test your knowledge. Oh, it doesn't destroy them. It doesn't destroy them. Well. Is it? No, it, it does destroy them. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, but that is annoying to deal with. All the characters I built are quantum. That'll My Jepa doesn't have good medicine. shield as well. You have all quantum characters? Dang. You're in bad shape. I have, as you can see, a kind of an insane mix, actually. Stay <laughs> right there while I give you a present. I, I'm not afraid of you. Eliminating threat. Never stop thinking. You can't run. SAS Perkippy. Knowledge oh my God. is the measure of all things. Such a tanky. Tanky boss. Oh God. This will take a while. Try that again. Stay back, Clara. <laughs> Zero points. Oh my God! Every everyone's just follow up. Everyone's just doing the follow-up. Everyone. Love it. Fail. Get out. Naughty children, don't listen. Ah, uh, it's the characters you decide to build for quantum. That's nice, that's nice. Wait, quantum? But this this boss isn't doesn't have any quantum weakness at all. Seems a bit risky, isn't it? Time. I'm asking the questions. Let's test your knowledge. I need to be brave. Let me just test my knowledge. Oh, okay, that does, that does do more damage if I, if I use my E. Nope, here we go. With me out here, how can we lose? <laughs> Time for a shot. You're in bad shape. <laughs> He's just here to help contribute weakness breaking. You can't run. Think. Besides from that, I only have Saval My and turn. Dan Hung. Hmm, I see, I see. Yep, yep, scores it out, scores it out. I get it, I get it. Gotta try Wait. hard sometimes. Let me Check do this. Out this awesome move. <laughs> Ooh, that's decent enough damage, isn't it? So will they immediately go boom once the weakness is broken? <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. Nap time. Do you have answers? Never stop thinking. Zero points. Next. So Val and Danny Hing. Let's see. The one overpowered character I have seeing this actually March. March is your most powerful character, really. Watch this. Why? I, I must question that because I, I do not because even though March's utility is very underrated, uh, and, and, and clearly here it's doing a lot of work, she's not a damage powerhouse. She does not deal damage. Commencing annihilation. It helps with survivability by a ton, but
Okay, okay, uh, what about that? What about that? Okay. Ah, oh, I was talking at the time too. Apologies for that. Yeah, that's, that's so strange. I don't know what happened. I generally don't know what happened. Commencing annihilation. As you command. And in the meantime, I'm still playing, doing pretty good damage too. Never stop thinking. Fail. Get out. I don't know what in the world happened. Uh, that this does happen to me hippie. sometimes, I guess. I, I wouldn't say often, but sometimes. Maybe you, I guess when I go through a, the occasional lag spike, then everything starts chugging, and especially. Uh, so the moment that I turn off uh, my VTS, things look a little bit better. And then the moment my OBS turns off, the game immediately started running perfectly smooth. So no, I don't really know. I don't really know. I could turn on my, my YouTube studio again, I guess, suppose, but I'm, uh, I I don't risk it. So uh, I guess for now, I'll be ye old PNG tuber. Oh, so can Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, good lord, you were stuck in that state for so long. With me out here, how can we lose? Gods, oh, okay, this the worst case scenario is is if both my healer ca my defensive characters uh, uh, have, been, have been outraged. That is just so annoying to deal with, my god. Savor the big <clears throat> Zero points. Next. And now we do. Try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> so how have you guys been? How's how's your how's been your post uh, Raya, uh, Demon? Hope it's been Fail. well. It's been good. Yeah. Mine's been pretty plain Jane. Pretty plain Jane. All the follow up damage. Hide. I want to protect everyone too. Help me, Mr. Sparrow. Oh, I can't believe this is how I'm, I'm, I'm doing it with the. This is how I'm handling the boss battle. Oh, gods. And it's this giant ass thing. How the hell did I manage to tank that? Bloody A. How did I manage to tank that? As you command. I'm asking the questions. <laughs> Gonna make you blow up. Naughty first. children, you're in bad shape. Oh my Raya, I got my bike on full at remote, but whether there's hot, not raining, like hell, it's strange. I know, right? I don't know what's happening with the weather. Yeah, because when it's hot here, it is blazing hot uh, in, in Dhammasar Uptown. But then when it's raining, 
well, there was legitimately news of, of flooding uh, in, 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 in PJ, particularly in places like Sungai Bolo and, uh, and some other part of the areas. I, I mean, I mean, Damaso Upton, right? That's not far from Sungai Bolo, actually. What's so it's wrong? been kind of shocking that we've been dealing with just a ridiculous amount of rain the past uh, couple of weeks. It's been so confusing. So why? I, I know in certain other parts of the world, uh, they've been they have made claims of cloud seeding and all that. I know we do cloud seeding in Malaysia, but I I don't think a cloud seeding will will get to the point where it will cause floods. If you're not sure what it is, that's I think and I, I it could be very wrong with this. Okay, I'm not a meteorologist. It's where you add What's salt wrong? to clouds to basically basically to encourage it to rain. Essentially, I don't think that's. Even if we did do that here in Malaysia, I don't think it was to that extent. Surely not. Surely not. Oh, again? Are you kidding me? Yes, go Kablui. Thank you. Go more Kablui again. Hey, Dashu. Uh, you came in at a very interesting time. Uh oh. Oh, it was a super second. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. creature was unable to sustain its own existence and vanished as if it had never been born. Hm. Mm. The threat is over. Time to get going. Oh, so it wasn't three rounds. It was is it two. over? I... I need to get some answers out of wrong me. Only reading around Selangor, Sabak Bernard, Brad Lomo, not reading. Interesting, interesting. No, um, I don't think something was wrong with the roses for a minute. I, don't, I think uh, maybe there was a like a lag spike that happened. Yeah, it was a lag spike, and so I had to turn on my v to studio, then I had to turn on my OBS, restart my OBS, as I often do. Hey, wait, and you guys are having a little chat. Great, just great. <sighs> Being in progress, please wait. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Look at the size of this place. Okay, let's hit. Let's hit up there. What was I saying before I got cut off? Uh, I don't know. We were talking about how you play Honkai Star Wars, essentially, but uh, no move. Regardless, uh, we are nearing the end of this little storyline after all. So it's fine. It's fine. Let's see what she has to say. You know, creating a giant bug monster. The meeting of geniuses is over. As for the future of the simulated universe, that conclusion isn't important. What's important is your task. The villain with the Roman statue mask is tight. He's a handsome lad. He's a handsome lad. Uh, although I wouldn't call him... I don't think he's the villain in the story, if, if at all. I'm going to draw stuff daily for reasons. Oh, that's nice to see you. That's nice. Oh yes, overpowered march. Yes, your march is strangely overpowered. You look upset, correct? I regret my actions. There's no defending what I've done. 
Time and again, my experiments have fallen short, and they've always yielded predictable results. Kind of results that could risk the entire space station? I made a clone, but it doesn't hold a candle to the emanator. Exactly as predicted. 56 seconds on the dot. Restrained by time and place, its code of life could only be considered an incomplete attempt. I managed to replicate the moment it was born. However, it would soon disappear and be reduced to particles. Like every living being, it inevitably faced its demise as it journeyed towards the end. Not villain. No fault in that. Not that we know so far. Clearly, some of the characters, playable characters, can be villainous. Ron May kind of being the example here. However, even the briefest life should have meaning. I want to know the limits of its capacity. It will indicate how far I've gone in a field completely incomprehensible to me. <laughs> And it was a minuscule step, just as I had predicted. I think she is... What's the word? A yandere? And not the good kind, either. Not the kind that will create, you know, gigantic, incredibly dangerous experiments that could risk the entire space station. Just saying, just saying. I did say that if a danger proved too great for you, I would personally step in to confront it. I must admit, I'm not fond of scenarios where everything aligns perfectly with my expectations. An experiment should have its unforeseen twists. And that's where the joy lies. Even the most predictable storylines can have their pleasant surprises. I have to admit that these little ones born in the process sometimes move me. Dang, she is an ice queen. I thought Jingli was the ice queen here, but maybe it's Ron May? I see a human-like response in them. It is a concept completely opposite to that of divinity. They have emotions. Emotions may be either positive or negative. However, the love rooted in the depths of their heart is eternal. Oh, and poor things. Look at look at this little guy. Little dumpling boy is kind of heartbroken. They're still a long way from becoming geniuses, and are therefore unable to discern whether this love is one of friendship, romance, or familial love. That being said, can even geniuses tell the difference? I cannot, at least. I do not understand what love is and cannot respond to their feelings. Mm. Do you believe my actions were wrong? Yes. There you created a giant evil bug that wanted to destroy me. Felt like asking the question. How should I take care of them? Perhaps leaving them at the space station is the best choice. And of course she abandons her kids. Of course she did. Do I seem irresponsible? I'm sorry. I am often at a loss as to how to face my own creations. The effects of the anti-truth serum will also wear off. If others mention me to you in the future, you can answer however you like. Or even pretend you never knew me. After all, your memory of me will soon dissipate like smoke. Memory? Over time, hidden truths tend to surface. Past traumas, which I'd rather leave behind, 
have made me skeptical about trusting anyone but myself. How much as she still has a three star light cone, ironically. Oh, wow. Wow. So you're getting by with, with just a three star light cone. Dang. If I do not want a secret revealed, the most foolproof way is to destroy it. The anti truth serum will make you forget the brief period we spent together. Hmm. I want the mooncake. No! Don't eat the mooncake! Poor things. Poor things. Imagine if I married to Ron Ray, then I went home and asked the kids, Where's mom? Yeah, that's pretty much what she is right now. It won't take effect immediately. It is a slow, intangible process. Like the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossom, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Perhaps you'll remember someone performed selfish experiments on the space station, but you will no longer remember their identity. Perhaps we'll meet again someday, but you won't be able to connect me with the recollection. Wow, this is literally the definition of going out to get milk and cigarettes and, you know, not ever coming back. Your, your three-star light going is at a whopping level 80. That's insane. How did you level up to that extent? I, I, I don't have a light cone that's at level 70 either. That is insane. In that way, the connection between life forms will be erased. Friendships, secrets, grudges, lies. All will disappear. It will make our lives more relaxing. <laughs> no, I won't I forget you. you. Uh oh. Screwlem will stay on the space station for a while longer. He and Herta still have problems they need to solve. As for me, I'm leaving soon and won't bother with goodbyes. Do you still remember the no man's land I mentioned? I'm considering a solo trip back there during my research downtime. Just to see how things are. I miss member number 55 reaching too sometimes. She used to always make something delicious for me to drink every time we parted ways. Yu Ching Tu. I hope I won't meet member number four Polka Kakamond. That would be quite troublesome. Yeah. Oh, every time we see the word Polka, all I can think of is that particular Hololive member. <laughs> Who knows when the next gathering of geniuses will be? Do you have anything else you want to say to me? Parental custody? Yeah, I hope you'll come back and visit your creation, so that's the closest thing to parental custody. I promise I will, Mr. Assistant. If fate allows and you're interested, upon our next meeting, we could journey to no man's land and traverse its tranquil glaciers. Mm. Though I suppose it wouldn't be no man's land anymore. What a conundrum. Bouncy little things. I don't know. It feels wrong that they're leaving with her. Ron Ray has become a visitor to the Express. You might come across Ron Ray when you return to the Express. Well, that's disturbing. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> oh, Stella Jates. Oh, 
All right. Please let me have the moon cake, cat. Uh, I, I, I don't know how to give it to you. I mean, I could do this. Three star light codes are really easy to get to for superimpose. I actually don't know how superimposition impo works here, actually, you know? I don't know how it works. Yeah, but, but, but I'll at least switch this to this profile picture for you. How about that? How about that? Is that better? I know Mooncake X is very cute, but I don't know how to give it to you. I'm sorry. Um. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just check. I have eight here. So if I were to do an Ember Exchange or, or Star Exchange, get one of these, purchase one of these. Well, 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 folks, you're in luck. I thought we weren't able to roll for tonight, but turns out we can. All right. Let's see, folks. Let us see. There's the percentage thing that is colored, so, you, so the number goes up. Ah, don't fully get it yet, but uh, let's just warp, shall we? Let's see what we get, let's see what we get. Who shall we get? Who shall we get? I, I don't know. I'm, uh, to be honest with you, I'm actually really satisfied with the characters I've got right now. It would be nice to get Adventuring. Adventuring feels stupid broken right now. And really, really cool outfit. So that, that's another thing altogether. But I got Himiko Sama already. I have Dr. Bailu Chan. Hey, I even have Gallagher. I'm yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm almost like more interested in getting like light cones now, it is, I guess. I guess. I say that, but give me something. Hey, Gwenifen! Okay, an idol for Gwenifen. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, Gwenifen is. That's Su Shang. That is Su Shang. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. All right. Let's see. Yeah, Gwenifen's pretty great. Sloping noodles during handstand. That is, that is quite the trick to do if you can actually do that. When skills used, there is a 100% base chance to reduce the attack targets as but by 10%. That's pretty good. Yeah, I find Gwynaifen a really good inhality character. Defense is the light cone I put on March. Ah, so in other words, March is just unkillable then. Nigh Libby? unkillable. That's all a big hustle and bustle. But life, life's all about savoring the moment. <laughs> Uh, I love to call it little victories. I love to call it little victories indeed. Uh, oh, let me just check something very quickly. Then uh, we, we will we'll close. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We got a third one this time. We got a third one this time. Very nice. Very, very nice. Vanilla flavored mooncake cat. That would be I would be banned from every restaurant, every cafe, because it will be just the most disgusting mooncake possible. Me flavored cake will be just no, don't make don't make cake out of me. It'll be gross. It'll be gross. I'm I'm too grumpy. There'll be just so much grumpiness in that mooncake. No, 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 no. But uh yeah, so even though we had a bit of a rocky start with the freaking... Oh my god, I can't believe we... I cannot believe uh, everything went awry when <laughs> we're doing the boss battle. Oh my goodness. Either way, folks, either way, uh, thank you for coming on by. I'm gonna, we're going to end the stream now, but thank you for coming on by uh, every low. Uh, if you can, if you can, please do... Uh, uh, come and uh, check, check, uh, check me out in my Discord server as well. Uh, let me just uh, provide the link. Let me just provide the link. Uh, that's a, that's a place where uh, I I do uh, post 
pretty regularly. Well, all sorts of different things. And when you get, and it's, um, it's also a little community. It's you know, that's where that's where you guys get to actually uh, interact as in, as patrons of Cafe Cornelius, eh? All right, that'll be all, folks. That'll be all. All remember, folks. Uh, Cafe Cornelius is now closing shop, but my Cafe Cornelius never close in your heart. Have a lovely night, Mina. Have a lovely 